Hello, this, this is Tomonori. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the transitivity pairs today. So before we start, uh, we have to go back to the idea of transitivity in English first. Um, so trans transitivity pairs exist uh, also in English. Um, the quick example here are um, Takeshi broke the window and uh, the window broke. Uh, in transitive pairs, you see the subject as a doer or agent of the activity and the patient, the object window is the uh, patient or something receives the action. So Takeshi is the breaker and window is a break key. So this is the agent, this is the patient. Um, the same verb break can be used in intransitive pair. Uh, in the intransitive sentence, you use the same verb, but now the subject is the patient. So the window now becomes the subject. So the window broke. And in intransitive version, you don't see the agent. Okay. Um, sometimes you can say that the, the agent by adding by, so the window was broken, windows was broken by Takeshi. Um, but the intransitive pair itself uh, does not in include the agent in the sentence. Uh, open is another example. Takeshi opened the window. Again, you see the agent and patient. It's intransitive pair. The window opened. Uh, you don't hear who opened it, but you can just tell that the window opened. Takeshi boiled water is transitive, and what water boiled is intransitive. And these are the equivalent sentences uh, to those one, two, three in Japanese. <coughs> Excuse me. Takeshi san ga doa o kuashita. So Takeshi is again Asian, doa is the patient. The intransitive verb doa ga kuareta. Takeshi san ga mado o aketa. Mado ga aita. Takeshi san ga mizu o wakashita. So again, uh, the transitive pairs have two nouns. One is the agent, which is a doer, someone who does the action. And agent is in a as a subject, appears as a subject. And you can also use, you also use a patient, which is do e, someone who receives the action uh, uh, as an object. Okay, so transitive pairs, you have a two nouns. Uh, transitive version of pairs, uh, subject is the agent, object is a patient. However, in transitive version, you have only one noun, and which is patient. So you use the, the same patient as subject. In the transitive version, you have a patient as an object, but the intransitive uh, sentence, the patient appears as a subject. Okay. Um, as you know, in Japanese, uh, we have particle, case marker, ga indicates subject, o ind indicates the object. So, Takeshi san ga doa o akeru. This is a transitive sentence. You have both agent and patient. O doa ga aku. Uh, this is intransitive sentence. <coughs> you have a patient as subject. Uh, one thing you may notice is uh, in Japanese, we have a slightly different verbs for transitive and intransitive verbs. So, akeru is open as a transitive. Aku is also open but this is intransitive. So in English, you use the both same verbs 
open in both uh, in trans deep and in trans deep, but in Japanese we have slightly different uh, verbs. Uh, they are similar but not the same. Yeah. So these are the list of the verbs, um, uh, trans deep verbs in Japanese. One is akeru, we just talked about it, this is trans deep. Aku is in trans deep. Shimeru, shimaru, ireru, hairu, dasu, deru, tsukeru, tsuku, kesu, kieru, koasu, koareru, kegasu, yogoreru, I think this is yogosu, otosu, ochiru, wakasu, waku. Okay. Um, we, you hope that there is a rule um, to change uh, transitive to intransitive or vice versa, but this is actually quite the 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 transitive pairs in Japanese is quite arbitrary. So uh, they are similar, but there is no rule for it. Um, one famous example is yaku. And yakeru. So this is to burn transitive and to burn in transitive. So this is ya ku ya ke. Um, so, in this version, the intransitive ver uh, verb is marked with e, a sound, e sound. Okay. Um, but if you look at the akeru and aku, the akeru is to open transitive and then aku is to open in transitive and then you see the same pattern here and then you see the same pattern here okay so in other words these two use the same marker but they are in different groups so yaku and akeru are both transitive yakeru and aku are both intransitive despite that they share the same markers so this is a, a very good example of like how uh, unreliable to uh, to to count on a specific markers to identify the transitive and transitive. Uh, the markers are quite arbitrary. It depends on the verb. Sometimes this a s is marking in transitive. Sometimes the same marker marks transitive. Okay. Um, so I have. Uh, the famous linguist uh, Jakobson listed about 200 verbs, so he did uh, qu quite exhaustive study about the Japanese transitive verbs, and he has a list of the almost all Japanese uh, transitive pairs, and I have a, that list on the website, so if you want to take a look, uh, that's a good resource to study. But for now, for the purpose of Japanese 104, all you have to know is um, um, this list for now. Okay. So if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Uh,